What is going on guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to evaluate text readability and text complexity using a simple package in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to use an external Python package called TextStat today, which is going to allow us to easily evaluate the readability slash complexity of texts in Python. And it allows us to do that in an automated way. So we don't have to look at the text manually as human agents, we can just use formulas and metrics and scores and algorithms to figure out how complex and how readable texts are. And this can be useful for multiple different use cases. First of all, of course, if you write something, you might just want to make it more readable, you might want to analyze the readability of text you've written yourself. Or you can also use this as an evaluation method to um, or as a method to evaluate text generated by AI. So if you have an AI, uh, an, a text generating AI or something like ChatGPT that produces text, you can use this package to automatically evaluate the readability of the text produced. And you can also look at specific metrics, uh, like how many difficult words and so on are included in the text. And this can make it easy for you to have something um, that's actually quantifiable when you want to evaluate something that was generated by an AI, because otherwise, you would have to use subjective metrics, you would have to look at the text and just say, does it fit my expectations? Does it meet my expectations or not? In this way, you can use some numeric stats. So what we're going to do first is we're going to open up a command line and we're going to say pip install text stat like this. And once the package is installed, we can just go and say from text stat import text stat. There you go. And for a first basic text, I also have some other text prepared here um, that we're going to look at here um, at the end of the video. But for now, I'm just going to go with the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, which is a text that contains all English uh, alphabet characters. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just print different metrics. So we're going to say text stat, and then we can just use here one of these functions. So we have different uh, grades, we have different scores and stuff like that. And the first thing that I want to look at is something called the flesh reading ease. This is a score, meaning the higher, the better the readability. So um, what we're going to see here in the video is we're going to use a bunch of different uh, grade scores or grade level scores, which are going to basically tell us uh, at what grade in school um, should you be able to understand this text easily. And in those cases, the lower the score, the better because the lower the score, the, the more readable it is, the, the simpler it is to understand, uh, the easier it is to understand. In this case, we want to have a higher score because the score indicates the reading ease. So we're going to just pass the text here. And basically, we're going to get a value of 113. This is interesting, because uh, the scale here is actually going uh, is expected to go between zero and 100. Meaning, if it's below zero, if it's a negative number, it's very, very, very hard to read. Um, and if it's above 100, it's extremely easy to read. And the reason you might get an extreme score is because the text is very small. We're going to uh, look at more uh, comprehensive text later on, we're going to see that the score will fit more into the categories into the ranges that are expected. If you have a very short sentence, it's going to be maybe very easy or very hard to read. Uh, in this case, we get 113, which means extremely easy. I have copied here. I don't know where I got this from, actually. So maybe take it with a grain of salt. But this is roughly what you should expect here. Uh, between zero and 30, it's extremely difficult. So best understood by university graduates. Uh, and then you can see here difficult, fairly difficult, standard, fairly easy, easy, very easy. So very easy, meaning it should be an easily understood by an average 10 year old student. So yeah, this should be understood by a 10 year old student, I would agree with that. Uh, maybe we can go with a more complex text here as well to just compare what we would get here. So if I say text equals, there are sophisticated Fourier, Fourier transforms involved in this complex, distinguished, I'm just doing something here now, uh, distinguished situation. Uh, it's still a very short sentence, which probably means it's going to be still quite easy to understand. Uh, but you can see Oh, actually, it's not you can see 9.55. This is something that is best understood by university graduates. Yes, because probably uh, doesn't make a lot of sense for uh, 
high school students to understand this. Um, so you can see the difference here in the score. Let's go ahead now and look at one of those or a couple of those great scores, grade level scores. Uh, essentially, we have the same here, the flesh uh, kincaid, is this what it's pronounced? I'm not sure. Um, great score. So basically, this means it's going to tell us, it's going to give us a number that basically means at what grade level should you be able to understand this text. So I can pass the text here. And I'm going to copy this here. And I'm going to replace the methods here because we're going to look at a bunch of different um, great scores here. So we're going to use the fog, gunning fog. We're going to use the automated readability index, which basically approximates the grade level here again. Then we're going to use the Coleman Lee something index. Um, and then we will use um, the Lin or right formula. So all of these have some different, uh, so some some slightly different uh, formulas and implementations, but they should roughly produce something similar. So you can see here, this is the grade level, meaning if we have 14.7 at grade 14, um, you should be able to understand this text. Now, this is the complex one. If I comment this out and we just look at the first one, you can see we actually get very, very low scores because this is such a simple sentence and such a short sentence that you should be able to understand it in third, second, fourth, third grade, or in this case, even 0 0.4, negative 0 0.4, meaning it's so easy that it doesn't even fit into the expected range because it's so, so simple. So it should be easily understood by everyone who, maybe by five-year-olds who are not even in school yet, uh, even though probably they cannot read, but yeah, from the complexity. Um, and again, if I use the other one, if I use this one, you can see that the grades are way higher. For some reason, the last one says it's, um, it's going to be understandable by a seventh grader. I don't know if I would agree with that, probably not. Uh, but yeah, so you can see that this kind of makes sense at least. Now, there is a final one, which actually also produces um, a great level, but it works different because uh, it uses uh, a lookup table instead of a formulas. And this is the, this is a text stat dot, what was it, um, Dale, I think those are just the the, uh, the last names of the people that invented the score. But this is again a score here, and we're going to just pass here the text. And oh, now I don't have a text. Uh, you can see here again five point eight, and this one fourteen point two three. So you can see the the mean or the median is somewhere around, I guess. 15, 16, 17, something like that. Um, this seems to be an outlier, it doesn't seem to be a very good approximation here. Uh, but this is how you can do that. Now, you can also do some other things. So for example, you can print text at dot difficult words, and then you can pass uh, a sentence. So you can pass the text essentially, and then it's going to give you the difficult words, seven difficult words. Uh, sophisticated, I would say, is difficult. Fourier is a difficult. Transform, uh, and then probably involved, complex, distinguished, and situation. Yeah, I, I don't know if situation. Hmm, I don't know. Seven seems to be like the max I would give here. Uh, but I think we can also get, for example, difficult words list. I think that that should give us the words. There you go. Situation. Yeah, actually, the ones that I mentioned. And if we go with this one, I think it probably doesn't have any complex words. Yeah, there you go. So you can analyze a text like this. You can just say text that dot and you can look at the different functions. There are a lot of different things that you can use here. Um, long word count and stuff like that. Letter count is easy word for a simple word is difficult word and stuff like that. And this again makes sense if you train an AI language model to generate text and you want to evaluate it. If you want to generate 10,000 texts, you're not going to look at all of them manually and say, uh, okay, this is a good one. This is a bad one. You want to use something, maybe this in combination with some other traditional NLP technique to evaluate the readability, to ev evaluate the quality of the text, or at least the simplicity and complexity. So let's go ahead now and use some more complex examples. I have prepared um, actually five different texts here. Um, I mean, actually, all of them are generated with chat GPT. So I didn't write any of them myself. I basically told ChatGPT to generate a very simple text, a very um, 
average text, a very di uh, a, a difficult text and a very difficult text. And then I also asked it to simplify the difficult text. So the very difficult text. Uh, the first one is this one here. Let me just copy paste it. Text simple. Now I'm going to say text is text simple. Um, basically, I, I'm not going to read the full thing. But once upon a time, there was a little rabbit, the rabbit had many friends, very simple words, right? So we can run this here. And you can see no complex words at all. Uh, and very, very low score, meaning second graders should be able to understand this text. Um, then I have a normal text, also generated by chat GPT. Uh, actually, I should set it text normal. There you go. Uh, and you can see now that here we have 25, a little bit more difficult words, historic, independent, brilliant, conviction, statesman. Um, this describes, I think, a historical event, declaration of independence. Yeah. Uh, and this should be understandable by ninth or 10th graders, as it seems. This one seems always to be kind of low, right? I don't know. Um, it's very optimistic about the intelligent of young pe uh, intelligence of young people. Uh, now, if we go with the difficult one, I think the difficult one is not so difficult, actually, but um, it's a little bit more scientific. The Schrodinger equation provides a way to calculate the wave function, blah, blah, blah. If I run this, you can see it has 33 complex words. There you go. Um, and it should be understandable by someone in 13th, 14th grade. I, I'm not sure how many grades there are in the United States, because I'm from Europe. So we have a different system. Um, at least slightly. So I don't know if that actually is something that you have in school or if this already means university level. Um, but the last one is extremely difficult. This is something that I don't think I would understand if I read it. Uh, this is the text very difficult in the context of quantum gravity, the per perturbative non renormalizability of the gra graviton propagator. Yeah, I mean, I cannot even pronounce half of the words here. So this should be extremely difficult to understand. Um, and you can see here, uh, this seems to be very complex 19th grade. So this is definitely something that uh, you should have a university degree for to understand, preferably in physics. The good thing now is and this is where AI language models can be very useful is you can take this text, not lose any of the information and simplify it. So I took this text, I, uh, I told ChatGPT to simplify it. And I got this here, basically describing the exact same thing. But in simpler terms, in the study of quantum gravity, uh, instead of in the context of quantum gravity, uh, then it explains what this is, and stuff like that. So it's a little bit longer but uh, it should be less complex. So I'm just going to say here simplified in the end. And we're going to see that it's still very complex. It still um, produces 14th, 16th grade, but it's not the same as the one before. It's not 19th grade. I mean, when we look at the score here, 38 in readability, or in ease of reading. And if I remove this here, it's 20. So lower. So yeah, you can see that this seems to work. It also gives us the words that are difficult. And again, you can use this for manual simplification. So you can go ahead and say, okay, give me all the difficult words, I'm going to replace them with simple words, or just evaluate the whole thing in and of itself. Maybe you're a teacher, maybe you're teaching uh, kids in 10th grade or something, and you want to have something that's uh, tailored to them, that's not too complex. Uh, maybe you want to be more complex than necessary. I don't know, maybe you want to to make your texts more, uh, more complex to to sound more sophisticated in university. Or as I said, the probably most reasonable, uh, the, the most reasonable use case probably is to uh, have something to automatically um, numerically evaluate uh, text produced by AI language models or text generation models. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.